7. And uh, the kinetic investigation of the following reaction. Uh, I'm just going to start the reaction here. A2 gas. Plus, what's the other thing? B2 gas. B2 gas. Yes. 2AB. Uh, it's a gas phase reaction. The following data is obtained. And experiment one number, and then I have uh, uh, the concentration of A2 and the concentration of B2 and then the rate. And that's in moles per liter per second. Okay, so I've got all the units. What is the molarity here in experiment one? 0 0.1. 0 0.1? Zero point one. What's my rate? Two point five times ten to the four. Okay. What's this one? Zero point two. And zero point one. What? Zero point three. Oh, sorry. Uh, one times ten to the negative three. And this one would be zero point what? Two. And this is zero point two. Yes. And what is it? Two times ten to the three. And you can almost write this rate law from inspection, but I'm going to require that you prove it. What's it look like to you? What is this with respect to that? How many times this does, do I get this? Five. So two point five times ten to the negative fourth times four is equal to one. See? And look at this. One times what is equal to two? Uh -huh. Two. Two. Okay. So that would suggest, and what was it I varied? So I'm just going to look at it in a qualitative sense right up front. Do that so you don't lose track of what it is we're talking about. Your, your in, in experimental instincts. And I held the concentration of B fixed and I doubled the concentration of A, and the rate happened four times faster. What does that suggest about A? What order is it with respect to A? Uh, second, second order. Second order. Two squared is four. Okay. Now, when I held this concentration fixed and doubled the concentration of B, it doubled. It, the rate doubled. So if I double the concentration, it doubles the rate. What order does that commensurate with? First order. First order. So I'd say that it's first order in B and second order in A. So we've almost, we can almost write the rate law directly. But if you do that on the test, I'm going to throw big, large rocks at you. <laughs> I'm going to expect you to prove it, but I want you to be able to think about it in those terms before you start to, 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 to do it. Okay? Now let's prove it. Okay? And so, what we're going to do is um, rate 2 over rate 1 is equal to K times 2 times A2 to the X times B2 to the Y divided by K times A2 to the X times B2 to the Y. And that is equal to, notice that everything here drops out. K divided by K drops out, B2 to the Y drops out, A2 to the X drops out, and that's equal to 2 to the X. And that is equal to uh, 1.0 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2.5 times 10 to the minus 4. And that's equal to 4. Therefore, x is equal to 2. Is the, the superscript in front of the A2, is that coming from the um, point to the molarity? Uh, what, what do you mean? What superscript? Oh, this, this two? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 this two is exactly because I doubled the molarity. 
I kept this fixed and I doubled the molarity of A. And since that's all included in the parentheses, I'm re-expressing the concentration uh, uh, for in the second experiment as the concentration in the first experiment times two. And that means everything drops out of this because that cancels, this cancels, that cancels, and I'm left with 20x. So we actually set the experiments up deliberately for this to occur, to make it as simple as possible. And then I can take the two rates, I divide the two rates, and I'm equal to 4, which is basically, in principle, what we did without even looking at any of this when we looked at the rates. Well, what's this? What's the relation between this and this? Well, this is 4 times that. And this one is 2 times that. So we already knew it was going to be second order. But now we can show that it is. So we've proven that it's second order in A2, which is what I'm going to ask you to do on the test. And so rate 3, I've got to have the E on that, over rate 2 is equal to, again, we write out the same expression. At this point, I can take the information here and include it and put the 2 in front of the B2 to the uh, 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 Y over K. Is there a mistake in the key? Oh. No, yeah, I was reading ahead. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, well, no, I'm, if, yeah, please point it out when well, I get it, there. It's on part B, but I'll, I'll tell you when we get we'll there. We'll get there when we get there. Yeah. Okay. So now you'll see how this one's obvious you now because, in particular, this is going to drop out, uh, this is going to drop out, and that's going to be equal to 2 to the y, and it's equal to 2.0 times 10 to the minus third divided by 1.0 times 10 to the minus third, and that's equal to what? Two. Pretty good. Yeah. Yes, two. And therefore, y is equal to one, and at last, we can write the rate law, which was what this question was about. The rate is equal to some sort of a constant times the concentration of A, squared at second order in A, and first order in B. What's the overall order? Third, third order overall. So that answers part A to this problem. I'm going to roll this one up. Is that good for everybody? Yeah. I'm going to roll this up, and we'll do part B in just a second. Yeah. And now, for part B, uh, what is So this is pretty straight up. We've already written the rate law. <coughs> and so I'm just going to rearrange that expression. K has to be equal to the rate divided by the concentration of A2 squared times the concentration of B2 to the first power. And so you've already got half, half the problem just by writing that out. And now we just simply plug in the numbers. And at this point, if you do not include units, you're really going to lose a lot of the problem. So you definitely want to include the units. And the rate, I'm going to pick any one of those above will work. But I'm going to pick the first one for the following reason. It has a lot of ones in it. And I like one. It's easy to multiply by. What was the? Well, that, that's what the mistake was. When you pick the rate, you kind of made up a new one. Oh, OK. And you put 5 instead of 2. .5. OK, that was, okay. Yeah. that was a typo. Uh, but I'm the, now I'm going to do it the way it. Yeah. I would have picked. I would have picked one, and so I'll take the rate that's in one, and I'm going to include the units. 2.5 times 10 to the minus fourth, and that'd be moles per liter per.
per second. And now I'm going to divide that by, and the nice thing about these being the same concentration, this would be um, uh, uh, 10 to the minus 1 moles per liter squared, and then times 10 to the minus 1 moles per liter. Okay? And so, if you include all the units, you're going to be fine. And now, uh, wait, let's just do the math. We'll leave the top alone for now. 10 to the minus 1 squared is what? 10 to the minus 2. 10 to the minus 2, 10 to the minus two times 10 to the minus 1 is? 10 to the minus 3. So I'm going to end up with, ultimately, something that's going to be uh, uh, 2.5 uh, times 10 to the minus 4 over 10 to the minus 3 uh, in a minute. But now let's get the unit straight. This is moles per liter. Uh, that's squared, so it's moles squared per liter squared times moles per liter. So it's moles. Uh, so it's in moles per liter per second, and this would be moles uh, cubed per liter cubed. And so now I'm going to end up with now all the only math I have to do the 2.5 is fine. <coughs> and Antissa, it's just the characteristic I got to work in. It's easier to work in the characteristic. 10 to the minus fourth divided by 10 to the minus third is 10 to the minus what? 1. one. Equals, equals 2.5 times 10 to the minus 1. But now, moles per liter divided by moles cubed per liter cubed is going to be moles minus 2 yeah. to liters minus 2. So it's going to be reciprocal. It's going to be liters. It's going to be liters, liters, uh, squared per mole two per second. Okay? And that is the way it should go. And now the units do work out. And I just like to put the liters in front per mole. Uh, it's just reciprocal molarity. The reciprocal molarity squared. But this is characteristic of a all third order processes have these units. In a, for the rate constant, for, for for a rate constant for any, all the units are going to be the same for all third order processes. The rate constant is going to have the units of liter squared per mole squared per second. Okay. Are there any questions about that? And did that fix the typo? Did what? Where, where was the typo? I just snuck a five in there yeah. out of nowhere. Yeah, you just used a different rate, but... And the rate wasn't even one of the ones available. Okay, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, I make mistakes like that. Uh, okay, does that answer that question? Okay.